Hi YouTube. Today I'm going to show you a fun and easy DIY project about revamping your old purse or a clutch or even hopefully this will project will inspire you to maybe revamp a t-shirt or any other accessory or clothing item that you might have laying around. What I use today is a clutch that I got from Target and it is a fake leather clutch. I'll show you the inside. It has a little pocket on the side and as you can see from the tag it was one dollar. What I'm going to be using today is some purse personalize it which is a iron-on um, trimming. Um, I got this at Joann's. The price does say $5.99, but I got it for half off. I used this on a different project, so I'm going to be using the scraps that I have left. This is the material that I'm going to use. It usually, as you can see, has a backing and this is used for the iron-on transferring but since this is a leather fake leather purse and it's basically plastic I know that heat probably won't be a good thing to put on this so what I'm going to use is my trusty hot glue gun so let's get started I'm going to go ahead and get some scissors and cut this tag off Get that out of the way. And what I'm going to do, zoom in for you guys. With this, is take my piece of material, and what I'm going to do is just a simple embellishment across the front of the bag, right where you it snaps together. Now, I have enough material. If I want it to, I can go up the side. If I want it to do that. But today I'm just going to do the front. And this is a great project to do. You can find various types of materials, so you don't have to just use this. We can use things such as this great heart decal. I got this jo at Joann's for 50 cents. And you could maybe stick this on the back. Down here in the front on the side would be really cute. You can also bedazzle this and maybe hot glue on some gems or th things like that. That would be really cute. So what we're going to do, I'm going to take that and it's about right there. It's perfect. I'm going to have a little bit extra. It's better to have extra than not enough. Cut that as straight as possible. It's real simple like that. This is my extra material that I have. Put that off to the side. My glue gun is hot and ready. Glue guns, as you know, if you're a crafter like myself, glue guns are very hot very dangerous be very careful okay our glue gun is hot so what we're gonna do is take our piece and what I like to do make sure you're using a old rag or something to wipe off the hot glue stick just came out okay okay what I'm gonna do is run my hot glue gun along the strip I'm going to try to go as fast as possible the hot glue does tend to dry kind of fast make sure you get those edges wipe that out there and also I'm going to do a dab along the purse itself so really make sure it is secure as possible. Okay, so we're going to take our strip, 
Like I said, be careful. It's hot. I'm just going to hold that down and press it and run it along our purse. Or a little clutch, I should say. And the good thing about this fun and easy project, as you can see, it didn't take me long at all. On the end here, I'm going to go back in, hit it with the glue one more time, and really secure it. Any excess glue, you just want to go ahead and wipe off. It's really simple, really easy. You can also take jewels, ribbon, whatever you feel. Hot glue gun is your one of your best crafting friends. Okay? Holding that down, and that's it. Very simple, cute, it's all finished. see now this plain purse is now just a little bit you know has some more pizzazz on it and this purse was a dollar got it from out the dollar bin from Target and like I said I only paid like 250 for this personalize it and you get one yard so you can use this for various projects. It's really great. And we're all finished. So please stay tuned to my channel for more DIY projects. I hope you enjoyed. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.